Hey guys, it is Margaret and welcome to my first video for A Box of Frogs. I'm so excited to start this new channel. My channel, Texas Gal Treasures, is a lot more um, reseller related, but I do a lot of unboxings there. But I wanted a dedicated channel just for more geeky stuff so I can kind of do all the geeky things I want to do without, I don't know, just... I can share, I can let my freak flag fly, and not have to worry about it. So here I am over on a box of frogs, and I figured the first thing we ought to do is get sorted. So I am going to screen share Pottermore and get myself sorted into a Hogwarts house. So if you are watching this later, let me know what house you get sorted into when you go sign up for Pottermore. Um, I did get myself sorted on a different account. But then I realized after you do that, you can't get resorted. And I was like, oh no, I meant to, you know, I wanted to do this live. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and get resorted <laughs> for you. It'll probably end up the same. But here we go. Let me screen share Pottermore. Here it is. All right, so I am going to begin the experience. You have to answer a quiz. All right, so do I choose the moon or the stars? Ooh, that's a good question. I think I'm going to choose the moon. I wonder if it turns out different. Four goblets are placed before you. Which would you drink? Uh-oh. The foaming, frothing, silvery liquid that sparkles as though containing ground diamonds. Mm, I don't know. The smooth, thick, richly purple drink that gives off a delicious smell of chocolate and plums. Oh, that, that sounds good. The golden liquid, so bright that it hurts the eye and which makes sunspots dance all around the room. Uh, pass. The mysterious black liquid that gleams like ink and gives off fumes that make you see strange visions. Eh, I don't think so. I think I want to drink this one, the foaming, frothing, silvery liquid that sparkles as though containing diamonds. You know what? I think um, these questions are different than the ones I did yesterday. So this is awesome. It will be a surprise for all of us. Ooh, okay, which would I rather be? Envied, imitated, trusted, praised, liked, or feared? Ooh, I think I'm going to go with trusted. <laughs> if you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Okay, this one was the same. I did have this one, I know. Tabby cat, Siamese cat, ginger cat, black cat, white cat, tawny owl, screech owl, brown owl, snowy owl, barn owl, common toad, natterjack toad, dragon toad, harlequin toad, or a three toad, three toad, tree toad. Um, I, even though I am a cat person, I would take an owl because they seem like they would be way more useful. So I would choose a tawny owl, not one of these. I don't want to screech owl. And I don't want a snowy owl because I would like it to be a little understated. So let's go with the tawny owl. How would you be, how would you like to be known to history? Okay, let's see. Margaret the wise, the good, the great, or the bold? Or I want to say the good. Uh oh okay, this is a new one too. A muggle confronts you and says that they are sure that you are a witch or a wizard. Do you ask what makes them think so? Agree and ask whether they'd like a free sample of a jinx. <laughs> Agree and walk away, leaving them wondered, wonder, uh, leaving them to wonder whether you are bluffing, or tell them that you are worried about their mental health and offer to call a doctor. I think I would ask them what makes them think so, because I would need to change my behavior to stay on the down low as a witch, right? All right, what are you look, most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? Apparition and, dip, and disapparition, hmm, maybe. It kind of scares me. <laughs> Transfiguration, turning one object into another, eh, maybe. Flying on a broomstick, not so much. I don't like heights that much. <laughs> Hexes and jinxes, nah. All about magical creatures and how to befriend and care for them. No. <laughs> Secrets about the castle. I like that one a lot. And, and every area of magic I can. Oh, gosh. Okay. I, I, I'm going to do every area of magic I can. I think I would just want to absorb it all. Oh, dear. Heads or tails? Heads? 
tails. I I want heads. <laughs> oh, I was sorted into Ravenclaw. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just want to say congratulations. I'm in Ravenclaw. More about my house. Oh my goodness. So let me let okay, Gilderoy Lockhart and Luna Lovegood are Ravenclaws, and the late the gray lady is also a Ravenclaw. I did this yesterday and I got Gryffindor. So all right. But officially, this channel now, Box of Frogs, we are in the house of Ravenclaw. So awesome. All right, so I will probably be back again with another video later because there are other Pottermore quizzes you can take to figure out what your Patronus would be or what your wand would be. And so I think that would be really fun to do. So I appreciate you coming over, guys, to watch. And welcome again to A Box of Frogs where I'm going to be doing all sorts of geeky unboxings or just whatever little weird thing um, crosses my mind that I think would be fun to do. So again, welcome. If you go over and get sorted by Pottermore, leave me a comment down below and let me know what house you were sorted into. I'd love to find out. All right, thanks so much, you guys. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.